right, welcome back, everyone, and welcome, Danny. First time having you in the in the super deluxe boardroom here. I could use your help uh, outfitting this. Um, so I'm sure everyone knows you, but just in case, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, I am Danny Hayasaka. I'm the Senior Director of Marketing and Emerging Technology with Call One and O Direct. Thanks. Now, I've been dying to have you here. I think people kind of group us together. When I go into the trade shows, people say, oh, you and Danny, like like we like we work together or like we're in some sort of secret club together. And I yes. think part of it is that we love making YouTube videos and content. And I think part of it is if you watch our videos, especially the unboxing videos, we look like this is our favorite part of our job. Like I, I get to do an unboxing <laughs> video today. It's fun, something fun about making those unboxing videos. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely, um, it's been, people think that it's like this thing that just kind of happened overnight, but uh, I've been in this industry since 1999, so I'm going on 25 years in this industry, and so prior to what I did today, I was, you know, I'm selling this stuff. I was uh, that sales rep that would bang out all the phone calls and, and start calling everybody, um, and then even through that period, I had established relationships with our partners and one of the ways i found to sell the product was to actually test it and use it so that i can share my own experiences with clients uh, and then i got into a uh, sort of a sales leadership role and and one of the things that we encountered were customers that would couldn't find something right for example a dongle where's the dongle where's the dongle where's this cable and so i started creating videos uh, to show people where these the, these little parts and pieces were, these components for these uh, devices. And then I took it a step further because I started getting folks watching and they were asking, well, how does this sound? I'm like, how do I do that? And then I found a way to record through the computer and then people could hear that audio and then they could start to hear how these headsets actually uh, sounded. And then that kind of blew up uh, and, and into other things beyond headsets. I was going to say, I've watched a lot of your videos, but I think when I discovered you, the one that first came across my feed, it was the headset videos. It's something that the viewers on YouTube like it, the YouTube algorithms, um, having, especially having multiple headsets in one video so I can kind of compare yeah. those. I'm like, ooh, subscribed. <laughs> those are good. Yeah. And, those are and, the ones that get the most views because that's what people, it, it's typically, end users that are trying to make a decision. And so they can't go out and get all these devices. Uh, brands aren't gonna send it to them for free and they're certainly not gonna go out and, and shell out cash to, to buy all these things. And so having someone they can watch, test all these headsets in a similar environment so they can hear for themselves, I think really resonates with the yeah, people. I, I as, as, a, as a content creator and as a viewer, there, there are so many times I'm like, I'm on the fence about this product. Ugh, I don't want to go to the store and get it and unbox it and see if it's right for me. I got to watch a video and, and I really enjoy watching them. And, and as a content creator, it's a great way to, to kind of explain the product just, just from, from start to finish. Um, you know, because part of oh, the yeah. product is, it's not just its performance, it's setting it up, it's figuring it out, it's unboxing it. Yeah, it, it's, it's the whole process. And then understanding, because we, we do more deep dives when, when clients or, or YouTube viewers ask, or even our own clients ask for a deeper dive, we do create custom uh, content for them. So we can show, uh, we create how-to videos, uh, tutorials, uh, to show people what each button does. Uh, we've even done some uh, actually setting up videos because believe it or not, people need help in understanding how to connect the USB uh, port or, or cord into a USB port on their laptops. And so we've done videos as simple as that was, that seems simple to us, but for some folks that that's quite the stretch. And so, uh, we, we do all we can to, to help. I like to take away the gray. I like to make it as black and white as possible so that end users know exactly uh, how to use these uh, solutions. Yeah, it's it's funny if you go to the uh, the comments on those videos, they're not. Why are you wasting my time? I know how to plug in a thing. It's oh, thank you, you saved me. This is so helpful. Yes. People really appreciate yes. it. And just so our our viewers get a, a sense of, um, let me see, I'm gonna put behind us. Uh, this is the call one. 
Cole one must really appreciate you because that's you right up there. You know, that's you right <laughs> up there. And if you scroll through the videos, uh, there is a, a lot of Danny. And, and uh, it's interesting that the beard is, is recent. I don't have to scroll back too far. It's only a year or two before. Same as my hair. You don't have to scroll back too far. Oh, but I, interestingly, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of unboxings, which I love. But if I sort by popular, your top uh, video or any top videos, it was it, it, it was what you're saying. It's how to connect a just how to, it was kind of connect something. This is yeah, showing uh, showing the uh, the webcams. Yeah. And the other one, uh, another popular some of the shorts. So one of the, the more popular shorts is how to uh, place oh, a uh, Bluetooth dongle. Yeah, Bluetooth dongle into pairing mode. Yes, yeah. it says almost 30,000 views, your top short, and it's literally how to plug in a USB thing. <laughs> yes. But people needed the help. Um, have you been- They have, certainly do. How, how much have you been, well, I can see you've been, you've been doing shorts. Um, I'm starting to play around with shorts. It's interesting, it's a very different uh, dynamic in in YouTube, it's it's TikTok in YouTube. It, it, that's what it is, and so I think the popularity of TikTok uh, has transitioned over into YouTube, and so some folks don't need to hear uh, an entire long form nine ten minute video. They need that very specific uh, answer to a question or a very specific. Uh, how-to video so they can do it right then and there versus trying to skip through all the information that most folks uh, put out uh, before they actually show any real substance in the videos. And so that's another thing I try to do. I, just, I started recently trying to cut out all the verbiage and focus more on the actual test, on the demos. That's hard. All my videos are 10 minutes long and, and, and I don't like to watch 10 minutes. I'm like, if a video is three minutes long, I'm watching it. So why don't I make three minute videos? I just, I like to talk. They wind up being 10 minutes, but, but I've been starting to play with the shorts and it's, it's really interesting. The discoverability is crazy. You put up a video that would get, you know, a hundred views and you're happy with it. I mean, we're not the biggest industry in the world and you put it up as a short right. and it gets 500 views. It's like, whoa, yeah. it's, 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 it seems that YouTube is encouraging us to, to do the shorts. Oh yeah, like I said, as long as it's, it's answering uh, people's questions, uh, they, they love that kind of stuff. Now, I, I've noticed your thumbnail. I'm, I am jealous of your thumbnail game. My thumbnails, I just take a, a, a screenshot from, from the thing, but you, you do the, you got some really good thumbnails, like, oh, like peeking over the thing and having the camera. Um, I, I love this one, the Logitech one. Um, do you do those yourself or do you have, uh, do you have help with those? No. So fortunately I have a person, oh. uh, he's a video editor. He started with us, right? He had graduated right out of, of college, a uh, full cell university. He started with us right during smack dab, the pandemic. And so he never really worked in the, an office with us. And then during the pandemic, his, uh, girlfriend moved to Pennsylvania. So then he moved to Pennsylvania, uh, but he continues to work uh, for me uh, in that capacity. And so he has a full-time job, but he, he loves working on this kind of content. And so fortunately for me, I can send him uh, videos and he can create these beautiful thumbnails because I am no good at thumbnails. No, he's he's awesome. I noticed that, and it's it's it seems like a silly thing, but it's really important in YouTube. People see that, and it's like either I'm clicking or not clicking. And and yours, you, you, yeah, yeah, it's like oh, I'm clicking on it. The colors, it's, they're really great. I'm I'm yeah, trying to play around. I like the YouTube's job. that the the thumbnails that have. Let me see. I have a new trick. I just set this up right now. All right, smile at the camera. We'll yeah. do a thumbnail. Okay, <laughs> now we'll just do a clip <laughs> of that. That'll be our thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. You like that? That's a good trick. Um, so, I'm um, a anything else you wanna wanna share with our viewers while we're here, or anything they need to know about Call One? Yeah, I mean, so our organization we've been around since uh, 1987, uh, and so and and coincidentally, Kell Direct is our sister company. Uh, we bought them back, in, I think, in 2013 or so, um, and so they were also founded in. 1987. So both our organizations are exactly the same age in terms of years. But the thing that that we do that really helps clients is things like this, our YouTube channel. Uh, we also have an experience center. 
So we have, in addition to having all these YouTube videos that people can watch, we also have physical, fully functioning uh, collaboration spaces for all the various brands like Logitech, HP Poly, Neat, Jabra, Owl Labs, Yealink, uh, D10. Uh, and we have all the various devices set up in actual, like a meeting room, right? And so people can come in and actually experience what that is like, because just like headsets, not very many people can go out and buy all these various uh, video solutions and, and, and test them at will. And so we have that capability and they can do it in person, they can do it virtually. Uh, one of the fun things I like to do is I have this little Ergotron uh, mobile cart and I actually set up my phone and I join the meeting from there and then I walk them into the room so that I can show them how you actually start the meeting, how you join a meeting nice. uh, from any of the particular spaces that we have set up. And the even funner part is when I fire up all the rooms and I run around from room to room so people can see what the differences are between the Jabber room, between a Poly, between a Neat device, between a Logi device, between an Owl Labs device, et cetera. And so it, it's really fascinating for customers. And then they also get to experience things that they don't know about. That's the thing that what I've experienced most or observed is that most clients have a very limited knowledge of what's available. Mm -hmm. And so we have the ability to bridge that knowledge gap because they, they, they just don't know. I mean, we've also gone on to customer site and there's been so many customer sites that we go on to where they have a webcam mm -hmm. as their video. So it's for just a for laptop. A large, yeah, for a large, you know, 30 by 30 room or 20 by 25 foot room. And you're like, that doesn't work. And a room little, like this and is not going to cut it. Puck. Yeah. And this is not a great experience. Puck. No one could even see us back here. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's the thing. And then they don't re realize that there's so much, there's been so many advancements in the world of video conferencing and it doesn't have to be complex anymore. That's the other thing. It used to be you need a very complex system to to work and nowadays it's really simple you can get an android video bar up in the front and maybe one of those center table cameras and you can have a very nice experience and hp Poly just recently introduced yeah they just recently introduced those uh, e60 cameras that you can kind of set up in multi-room or multi-camera environments and, and the so ai takes care of it you don't have to direct them yep. anymore no one has to sit we, there we've with really the we've gotten control. there when it comes to hardware yeah yeah, so it, it's a much better experience, but they aren't aware. They don't know it exists. Yeah, well, and so that's what we try to do. We try to educate. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what, what this is about here. <laughs> and I think it really says something about uh, Call One as a company. I mean, there is a list of hundreds of, of companies that I can go to to buy a, a Logitech camera from and, and to even right. to install it for me. And, you know, if I ask them information, they'll tell me more about the job. But, yeah, they, they all have the PDF sheets and they can say, oh, let me yeah, let me read you about it. Uh, they all have all the information. Mm -hmm. But to have someone like you who's working with all this stuff, you know, you didn't just read the PDF on it. You can't just, you know, Google it. You did an unboxing of it. You've played with it. You've, you've, you've made a video about it. You've, yeah. you've used it. You can talk about it. You've uh, and, and what I didn't know, what you just told us about those those demo rooms um, use it in the proper environment. It's one thing for, for you yes. to say, hey, this is what a camera is and, and it's 4K or it's 720 and it's this, you know, this angle. And those are just numbers. But to, to and mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that you said you walk them into the room. You don't start them in them because it's part of the experience to walk them into the room and see, um, you know, the experience from walking in. Yes. What what the meeting experience will be like, not what the camera can do technically, but what the experience will be like. Um, I think that'd be a, a really reassuring for a lot of users because it's a pain to get these meeting rooms set up and then and then no one likes it because the, the ang camera angles are wrong and it's the wrong kind of camera and stuff. So uh, to kind of try, you know, not try before you buy, but to get a real demo. Oh yeah, that that's that's what we're trying to create for our customers so that they, again, take away the gray, make it as black and white as possible, answer all their questions and even share with them solutions that maybe they weren't even aware of. One of the things that always blows customers' minds are the content cameras. And so when we show them, when we ask them, do you have a whiteboard? And most of them say, well, yeah. 
So how do you incorporate that whiteboard into your meetings? And most of them, you know, pick up their phone and they say, well, yeah. we'll take a picture of the whiteboard and we share it. So what if you could include that in your video meeting in real time? And like, that would be fantastic. And then you go over to like in, in the Logitech room, you can go over there and press a little uh, purple button on the scribe and boop, now you have this whiteboard right in the Zoom meeting, our team's meeting, and they're just blown away uh, yeah. by that technology or that capability. They, they don't even know it exists, and that's not no. a, a cutting-edge new feature. That's baked in. We've had that for a few years, and it's not, it's yes. not quirky. It doesn't always work right. It's good. It works great. We've been using it. Yeah. It's, it's, it this is, this is for, for guys like us, this is like, yeah, I remember seeing that demo years ago, but the, the people out there in the real world, it, they don't even know that it's possible. So yeah. more people need to, to watch and, and that's videos. the thing. I think... I think that's one of the, uh, the the challenges that our partners have. So our brands, the the Logitechs, the HP Polys, the Jabras, all these the Yalinks, all of them, they're creating really fantastic technology. Yeah. The challenge is we deal with customers that are still utilizing 1980s technology in some cases, and so they're they haven't quite caught up to the latest and greatest, and so. The, having someone like us walk them through to get to a much better place is really important. Um, I know everybody, or I know all our partners want all their latest and greatest technology uh, to be promoted and sold, but like I said, there are customers that aren't there yet. And so that's one of the goals we have is to, to help bring those customers into today so they can have a much better experience because a lot of them don't even meet or they say, oh, we don't do that. And the reason they don't is because the technology they have doesn't support what they really need to be able to do. And it, it, again, it's just a matter of showing them, showing them what's possible and then watching their eyes go, ah, they go yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a, actually a fun, a fun time to be us because we get to give the message that the stuff that they're waiting for, that they hope that in the next four or five years gets invented for them, it's here. Like all of it, yeah. when it comes to video conferencing, yep. we've we've really gotten there, and and yeah, so now we're in this education phase where we could just just deliver the good news, uh, all those yeah. crazy features that you've always wanted, they're there. Oh, and they're affordable, and they work well, and AI is taking care of all of it, so it's easy to manage. I mean, yep. good times for us, yeah. huh? Oh, <laughs> well, it's I'm, a fabulous time, fabulous time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have you back to talk about um, trend. You must be seeing talking to customers about the inner trends in the workplace and hybrid working, and I want to get into all that. But you know, these videos if we go too much longer. No one's gonna yes. watch this. Um, it's yep. been so great to have you here. Um, if you've enjoyed this, people watching, please let us know in the comments. And and I, this has been awesome. You definitely gonna have to come back. Uh, thank you, everyone uh, at Call One for letting me borrow your Danny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everyone out there, please, please like and subscribe and like and subscribe here as well. Yeah. Thanks so much, David. Thanks. <laughs>